Tableau while actually sharing all the keywords, getting it from Google keywords, Google AdWords or keywords, saying how many articles are present and what kind of articles these people are showing. I'll show you. Just give me a minute. So I'll just quickly. So see, if you see on this side of my screen, it will say it's positive, dead tolls, confirmation, social, face mask, New York, and all of these keywords, <coughs> sorry, are been aligned to COVID. And we have actually tracked it down from Google and other sources to create this chart where we wanted to say the bubble size is basically the number of keywords that we get. Right? This is one of these fancy analysis that we're trying to pull off and we're trying to publish. And uh, this is one of these, my uh, uh, freelancing work that I this is from that this is not from McKinsey and company right I will quickly show you what mm, yeah just a moment I'll just move this can you see a blank screen now blank tableau no I just do that of oh, keywords yeah, just give me a minute. So let's say I am just taking up an Excel sheet, blank Excel sheet, so I can just draw some analysis online. Just give me a minute. So let me take some data set from today. I think still some of us are not mute. I can hear a lot of voice at the back. Dilip <coughs> uh, sir, you can just force mute everybody as you are the host. Okay. Yeah, that will be helpful. Dilip sir? No, just, just, just start doing Yeah, yeah. No, it's just, it's just running the query. Just give me a minute. We'll just pull up the data set and let's start something. Hello. Hmm? Yeah, thanks. So uh, can can you see my screen? Why don't I just show you the data set that's a blank normal data set that you see. There's a sheet one and these are data sets. Can you see that? But you can write in a chat box that you can say yes or you can nod your head so that I know that you can see that. Yeah, all right. So this is how Tableau looks like. I've just imported one of these data sets to just show you how actually Tableau works and how it changes the entire structure of visualization. So <clears throat> basically, these are our rows and columns and these are our marks that I'm gonna utilize. And these are all the columns that you see in Excel. So these are divided by the categorical variable and quantitative variables. So categorical variables are the variables that you can actually bucket it up in terms of yes, no, maybe a country name or a state name or something we can actually be categorized, right? So something like I'll just put it in terms of saying category. It will show you how many categories do we have. It says office furniture and tech for now. Yeah, and let me put the sales in here. So we can see these kind of sales are working on. Let me convert this into a chart. So this is our overall chart in terms of this. And let me just quickly bifurcate into market level. And let me throw the profit on the color. <coughs> and just give me a minute. I'll, I can change the colors from here. 
So I'd like to go to edit colors and I'll say, okay, I am looking at some of the palette, maybe this, and I'll say apply and I'll say, okay. Now you can see the color in terms of the less of the profit, the darker the red shade it is, the more the profit that you have, it goes to green, right? We can utilize <laughs> other color palettes and all the pastel colors as well from darker to lower. You can go here and you can see there are a lot of colors available. I can choose any, for an example, I would like to use blue. It used the pastel ones, right? So for an example, let's start with one of these. So let's say we have a lot of countries here. That's the country that we have. I would like to have my all the countries in the color so that I have a color set. And I would like to use like sales and quickly convert it into a text. Now this is known as word art that we can utilize and <coughs> And we can create our charts in terms of changing visualization. Now, if you if you actually send any of these excels or something like that to people, they would not understand how the numbers are looking at, or maybe greater than, or maybe sorting them into descending or descending order. But these kind of charts really help people to understand how a performance evaluation is working for them in different geographies. Right? They can actually take you across a lot of uh, data sets where, and you can understand, uh, make them understand how the entire performance, maybe your sales data or maybe your uh, call center performance or uh, maybe how the entire uh, overall uh, number of COVID-19 or something like that is, is performing and how the geographies are react reflecting to the same. So you can actually put in all of these numbers and you can just, uh, play around. So this is our data source. I have taken an Excel file and these are the basic Excel that you look like. It's like that. And if you come around and you say, okay, this is my, it will all give you a globe sign. It is a character sign. And if you see uh, this calendar, that means it's, it reflects it as a date. And I'll show you the hash also, just in a minute. <coughs> yeah, if you see these hashes, that means they are numbers, right? Now, once you come to the sheet number one, right? These all are created by the Excel sheet that we have or the data input that we had, right? Now, <coughs> drawing a number of analysis, right? Every chart has a different story. For an example, let's start with this. So this is a normal bar chart where we can check the frequency, we can check the numbers, how they look like and how overall look like, and we can change all of the chart aspect in one go, right? So for an example, I wanted to do it this way. See. And let me just maybe yeah. If you see this, you can change the same aspect in wherever you wanted to drag. So your rows and columns are the part that you wanted to see a row chart or a column chart. <coughs> that can change your different pictures. Let me can show you what I mean by this. So let's say I'm going to market. This is my market now. And I wanted to see the shipping cost. This will show me something like this. And if I wanted to say, if I wanted to see if I made, made a profit or not, I'll put it in the bar. Now the thickness of every chart decides my profit, right? So for an example, in APAC group, I have made a lot of profit out of my shipping cost and I have seen the shipping cost and that is the reason it's helping me. And we can do one thing, we can put the profit in the colors as well. So now the thickness and the color of chart, both of them tells me how the actual chart is reflecting. Yeah. Guys, in case you have questions, let me know. I mean. Uh, open open to question any kind of question that you want to write in the chat box. Uh, please go ahead and write and I'm, I'm reading the question that I'm happy to answer more questions. Or one by one you can also, I mean, if if they allow, if uh, team allows you to actually unmute yourself and want to ask something, you can do that. <coughs> Students may please mention their questions in the chat box. That how will you be utilize it? Why are we gonna utilize? What is my uh, key things? How we gonna perform the analysis and all of that? If you're looking for that answers, please write it down. 
and I'll I'll be happy to take the questions there. All right, in between the session as well, I'm I've opened my chat box and I can see that. All right, and now now in these kind of visualizations, which is uh, something which can help you over all over in the geographical side. So for an example, we talked about our country. Now let me take some step to actually show you how this works: latitude and longitude. Now we do not have to go to Google and ask say, say tell me the latitude and longitude. Tableau is smart enough, or these uh, these tools, the uh, these uh, visualization tools are smart enough to actually gather the information when you have a country or a state in terms of latitude and longitude. So if you <coughs> see this, and let me change it to map area. Yeah. And let me put the country. And the color. Are all the members and let's check. Yeah, so it, it might take uh, it might few seconds to catch up the data set. Yeah, so let me quickly do that in the map area. Yeah, we have all the countries and we have matched. So only the countries that you have in your data set will be published here. And uh, let me show you the number, how we are making sales or we're making profit. Let me put in the label and you can see. <coughs> you can see the profits and the numbers. So that the huge one and probably you, I can also show you the name of the countries as well. Just give me a minute. There you go. So this kind of analysis really helps you in terms of pulling up the maps and everything to actually put in, put it down and you can put it, put a uh, screenshot and send it to your PPT as well. That will be helpful. <coughs> so Tableau is coming up with a version where you can transfer uh, your analysis or these kind of charts to your uh, PPT slides as well. But right now we do not have that version. But in other versions, uh, data visualization tools that we have, uh, we have an option right now. But with this one, we do not have an option where you can fetch the data set into, or we can fetch this into our, uh, our PPT slide. <coughs> Nitinji, can we have?